If you're like me, you have a massive collection of music, most of which wasn't purchased from Apple. Maybe you got your music from Amazon, or from a bunch of old CDs you bought in the 2000s. I listen to my music collection on my iPhone and iPad everywhere, at home, on the run, in the car, on an airplane, even without an internet connection. And guess what? I didn't use iTunes, a USB cable, or even a computer to get my music onto the device. As I am what I call solo iPad, I don't even have a PC or a Mac, just my trusty iPad Pro. The key is to use a third-party music player. You only need to use iTunes, a computer, and a USB cable to transfer music to your phone if you're using the Apple Music app. So let's not use the Apple Music app. In this video, I'll show you how to bring your music files from your cloud storage, such as OneDrive, to your iPhone or iPad. Then we'll play them with a terrific third-party offline music player called VLC. I picked VLC after trying out various music players. It has a beautiful user interface. It works with Apple CarPlay. It's one of the very few music apps that allows you to play songs by genre. And it's open source and 100% free with no ads. Of course, if you get good use out of the app, I encourage you to make a donation to the developers. Here's a quick overview of what we'll do. Download VLC. Download the app for your cloud storage. Connect your cloud storage to the Files app. Copy your music from the cloud to VLC's local folder on your iPhone or iPad. Let's start with the first step. Go to the App Store and download VLC. Open it. You can dismiss all initial screens, but an important thing you should know is that after you open the app for the first time, a local folder called VLC is created on your iPhone or iPad. Now let's download the app for your cloud storage if you haven't already. You can use Dropbox, Google Drive, iCloud, or any other cloud service. If you're using iCloud, you can skip this step as it will already be on your iPhone. In my case, my music is stored on OneDrive. I had already installed the OneDrive app onto my phone, so I didn't need to download it again. Now we'll connect your cloud storage to the Files app, which is your Apple device's built-in file manager. Open the Files app. You can do this by swiping left on your home screen until you get to the app library. Then type Files. If you're not already on the Browse screen, tap Browse. Now tap the three dots on the upper right of the screen. Tap Edit. If you did step number two, your cloud service should be listed. Toggle it on. Here I'm toggling on OneDrive. Finally, let's copy your music from your cloud service to the VLC folder using the same files app. Since my music is on OneDrive, I need to open the OneDrive folder and find my music. I have stored all my MP3s in a folder called My Music. The songs are actually contained in various subfolders, but that's okay. I can select all of these subfolders and then copy them into the VLC folder. Depending on the amount of music and your internet speed, the copying may take a few minutes. Once it's done, you're all set to enjoy your music. You can play by artist albums, songs, genres, or search. Here I will do a search for all songs by Adele. If I then click on one of the songs, every song on this screen will be played. Everything I have shown you on iPhone can be done on iPad in the same way. VLC is optimized for the screen size of your iPhone or iPad, but otherwise functions exactly the same. That's it! You've successfully brought your music collection to your iPhone or iPad and were able to do so without using iTunes or USB cables. So, go ahead and enjoy your tunes wherever you are, even offline. Thanks for watching!